Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic uh, day, night, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. But uh, hope all is well for you and um, basically wanting to do a new topic. And today's topic is going to be on uh, business. And the topic is going to be on basically you are the business, okay? That's the topic. You are the business. So a lot of individuals don't understand that a business is no more than a person, right? And on a grand scale of a big, large corporation, it's maybe not one person or two or three or four or five. Maybe it's hundreds of people or hundreds of thousands of people, right? Like what makes up a country, right? A country, what makes up a country is territories and all of the individuals within the country, right? So all of the people. So, you know, basically when you're a small business owner, you're like, say, for instance, a real estate professional, you're a mortgage professional, uh, you're a trainer, you are your business. So how you operate the business um, is dictated in a couple different things. Uh, professionalism, how you dress, how you talk, how you act, how you basically deliver information. Those are all big key factors in basically the success of the business, right? Now, when you get larger, the success of the business is based off of the individuals that are running the business, right? So basically, I run a tech startup. It's now basically about almost 8 o'clock at night. I started today around basically uh, 7, 7 o'clock this morning. So I'm at 12, going on 13 hours. But I got to the office around 9 o'clock. And I put in a bunch of time, took some time off earlier today. And now I'm back at it, doing some data entry things and getting ready um, and making sure that I, I really just basically go 10 steps ahead for our clients, right? And so basically... You know, and I always want to add value because my company is five individuals, right? I want to go to seven individuals for the new year. And so the thing is, is that basically I understand that, you know, as an entrepreneur that you can't be someone who's behind the scenes at the desk pointing the finger, right? That's a dictatorship. You got to be at the front of the fucking rope pulling that with all your people behind you going and pushing and pulling with you, right? Because that's how you have success in a business. So you gotta think 10 steps ahead. You gotta be mentally prepared. You gotta always be uh, as positive as you possibly can. And you gotta break through barriers, right? So you have mental barriers where, oh, I can't do this, or this is too hard, or whatever the case may be. Like if, at the end of the day, my head doesn't hurt, I didn't push myself hard enough to make sure that I can get past those mental barriers. Same thing with the gym and working out. If I go and I do my, my shoulder workout, right, but I don't have a sore shoulder the next day or the day that same day after I'm done working out, then I really didn't push that muscle hard enough to really get past the last workout, right? Because yesterday we did whatever we did and then today we did whatever we did, but our head didn't hurt today because whatever we did yesterday, maybe our head hurt yesterday, but it didn't hurt today is because you didn't go further and farther and, and more than what you did yesterday, right? So for today, my head's doing okay, so I'm putting in some more work to get some things done, plus I need to get ready because I'm going out of town and have some other things happening in my life as well. Going to go to New York City. Um, and so basically, and first time ever with my girlfriend, and uh, and so basically, you know, it's the same thing with the gym. If when you work out and you're not sore the next day, you didn't work out hard enough to basically outwork out your last workout. So the last workout you did maybe was harder than this last workout that you did, and you're not sore. So you're like, fuck, I gotta go back and gotta do it again, excuse my language. So basically, just remember, you are the business, and you have to push, and you have to go 10 steps ahead of yourself in order to make sure that you really have the success in your business. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple tips. It's better to basically make, it's better to have 10% or 50% of 100 people's effort than 100% of your own effort, right? Because you could be the business, you could be a trainer, or you could be a real estate professional, but if you don't have a team and you're not systematically making processes that just basically all support each other, where if you knock over one domino, all of the other dominoes are gonna knock over, you're not doing yourself a service. You're doing yourself a disservice because you're always gonna be working 10 times harder than you need to be working to really have that proven success that you need to have and that domino effect that you need to have to make everything just go down the road systematically and easy for you, right? So that's why I'm building systems in place and teams and basically team members that are gonna run the teams to be able to duplicate a model that I've been working on for about three and a half going on four years. So you are the business, 
You know, it's always good to think 10 steps ahead of yourself as one tip. It's always good to make 100% of, uh, or 50% of 100 people's effort than 100% of your own effort. Take that in consideration. Uh, a couple good books, uh, Disrupt You is a good book. Uh, the Mastery of Money, Tony Robbins is a good book. Uh, Think and Grow Rich is another good book. Uh, I had all this energy and I just wanted to share it with you. And thank you. Thank you so much for like, following, and connecting. Thank you for subscribing. I'm doing 100 videos on 100 topics. NLK3 is short for Norman Lloyd Kinsey III, running a tech startup at the office. Here's a little bit behind the scenes, three screens that I'm working on right now. Uh, my board for my accountability, my uh, partner's chair, he loves to have like a race car chair, Angela's chair, another desk here, and then a whole nother section out there, boardroom table and the whole nine. So thanks for life on connecting. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. I'm out, gotta get back to work. And uh, remember, you are the business. And whatever the mind can't conceive and believe, it can't achieve. Good, good saying from Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich. Talk to you soon. See you in the next one. I'm out.